Hey guys, Sean here. So on my Facebook page, there's some discussion around the Great Flood, and I wanted to make sure I'm, uh, uh, I, I address something with you guys. Uh, it's something that some people with certain belief systems are going to not not really connect with, and that's okay. Um, I'm just I, I feel I need to share this perspective, this understanding. The Great Flood and Noah's Ark's story. The Noah's Ark story in the Bible. That was uh, referencing this water event that happened on the planet. There was clearly a worldwide water catastrophe. Just about every corner of the planet has records, oftentimes sp- spoken records handed down from generation to generation, other times written records, describing this water event. The Bible's account and the Noah's Ark story is one version of literally hundreds of accounts of this ancient water event that was worldwide. There was a lot of water and a lot of loss of life There were many Noahs. There were many Arks. A certain percentage of the human beings on the planet at that time, just prior to this water event, had knowledge about what was to come. That's a whole big story. This is a big, big story with a lot of branches on the tree. So we're not going to talk about right now how did they get that knowledge. But there was... Numerous individuals on the planet at the time who were who were privy to the information that the flood was coming, and there they had generally three options: they could build a large boat like an ark, they could go up into mountaintops, they could go underground to survive. This coincided with the dis- final destruction of what you might call Atlantis. And uh, I've I've had many past lives, as 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 almost all of you have had as well, and I connect strongly with Atlantis, and the Great Flood, and the after days after the Great Flood, being in ancient Egypt, picking up the pieces, continuing on, continuing those traditions, the ancient Egyptians so advanced so quickly because they were the survivors of that Great Flood when Atlantis was around, and the technology was pretty awesome. So, anyway, I'm getting into some different categories here. My point is, there were many Noahs and many Arks. The, the story in the Bible about the Great Flood and Noah is one version of many, many, many versions. It just happens to be probably the most well-known version in the world. So, yes. So, if you're taking word for word, liter- literally or almost literally... Uh, uh, the Noah's Ark story from the Great Flood, you're, you're just getting a tiny piece of, what, of the puzzle of what really happened. There were many Noahs and there were many Arks. I'm certain. Well, <laughs> there's nothing, nothing is 100% certain. Yet, oh, Sean said he doesn't know. Hey, I'm being honest. Nobody knows anything with 100% certainty. It just, it's not, it's not real. That's like trying to define infinity. I am as certain as I can be about that. There were many arcs. Uh, Take care, guys. I'll see you again.